How's it going guys? It's Connor from LMB and I'm bringing you some NBA 2K18 pack and playoffs. You start off by choosing your coach. If you don't know what it is, you choose your coach and you choose your starting five and then you play a few games with that and see how far you can get. So you see, I choose Alvin Gentry over Jeff Hornacek and he has a pace and space. System proficiency, I haven't really seen if it matters too much in the game. But you see my first pack right here. I flip Robin Lopez, Joel Embiid, and I gotta go with the process, Joel Embiid. So the next player we get Tyrone Hill, not really a great player. And then this next one we pull Zach Randolph, and Zach Randolph is way too slow for me, so I gotta go with Tyrone Hill. In this game, it's kind of like the draft champions from Madden. It's just not, I like the draft champions way more. You have to lose a lot more games to reset your team in here. You see, we get LeBron James, and you know I'm picking LeBron over Jumaine Jones. Like, that's no question right there. But the Madden, if you lost once, you would reset your team. So if you didn't have a great team, you could just easily reset. But with this, you have to lose four games, and you can't just like join and quit, because then you get kicked, or you get suspended for having bad sportsmanship. You see, we get Kawhi Leonard, could have gotten Steph Curry right there. But we got the lockdown defender, Kawhi Leonard. And we got our last pack. And so I go with this blue pack right here. I'm trying to look for a good point guard. You see, Dennis Schroeder, pretty good point guard. But then we got Zach Levine. And Zach Levine, he's been pretty a cheese card in the past. So I decided to go with Zach Levine and run him in the one. And Kawhi at the two. So you see, the system proficiency isn't great. I don't have many people that really fit with that play style. And here we go. You see, you need four wins and to move on, four losses to drop out and restart your team. And I go against Andrew Wiggins, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Paul Millsap, and Dwayne Dedman. Joel Embiid's going to tear Dwayne Dedman up this game. Kawhi Leonard's ha having to guard James Harden. LeBron's guarding Kawhi. But that Zach Levine on Andrew Wiggins, that may be a little bit tough. So here we go, jump ball. If I don't win this with Joel Embiid, I mean, Dwayne Dedman, there should be no competition here. All right, so we kick it up. See LeBron in the corner. The game mode, this, you can't foul out in this game mode. So a lot of people have been struggling with the uh, My Team Online, how you have a certain amount of fouls and it just fouls you out of the game completely which actually happened to me uh, a little bit ago I was winning the game and they tied it up and they got an and one and then uh, I fouled and it just kicked me out of the game I lost all my MT got no MT for the game I lost the game because I fouled out and you see Kawhi Leonard with that poster jam and one and this is the free throw, of course. Fantastic speed but on the break. Speed there's, and I thought they would patch no that within the first patch for this game, but it looks like it's just not really a big deal to them. But I've seen it happen to a lot of people on Twitter, social media. They've been posting how much trash the game is because they can't play my team online. Which I haven't been playing it much. I've been playing Domination, just trying to get some packs. And I've been playing this for a, a good amount. You see, getting the ball movement, see LeBron, three-pointer, knocks that in. But this game mode, it's not really rewarding enough. You can play for two hours and get a total of like 150 MT as your reward. And then that Brian Scalabrini card, I actually did get it. I wasn't recording at the time, but I did pull it in a pack they're in the draft board after this. It's kind of like the gauntlet with the draft board. I did pull it, but then I went to reset my draft, and it didn't say that I moved on to the next draft board. It still said that I was on the first draft board with Scalabrini on it. So I was kind of wondering if I mispressed something and I should have clicked on the two board. I don't know. Maybe after this my draft thing and it takes way too long to actually get through the game because you can't you can't just quit every single game if you don't want to play because then you get suspended and you're out for a few hours see Kawhi Leonard knocks down that three we're winning 17 to 4 and he's quitting I mean there, there is no way he was going to win this game but this game 
Have you ever had those games in 2K where you can just kind of tell that the, the, the devs are rooting for the other team? That's what it was like for this game. I mean, he was hitting his wide open shots. He was winning every single loose ball. I mean, there were just some things. That I was missing my shots and he was hitting his. And I had the better players than him. Carmelo Anthony, he would not miss. Neither would Anthony Davis. I mean, this game, it, it was literally getting to the point where I, I had to stop playing 2K for a while just because this game was that frustrating, which I'm sure it is for a lot of people. And see, I pull up, wide open three, misses that, and then I get stripped going up for... I get stripped going up for a layup, and then he gives a hop step. See, and... Hits this deep through with Carmelo Anthony. So right there, I was like, okay, this is kind of iffy. And Joel Embiid is blocked on a, uh, a what should have been dunk. And you see right here, he misses the rebound somehow. Right, and he drives baseline. I somehow get the block, even though 2K was clearly on this other dude's side. Like, you can see at the end of the, the end of this game is just crazy. I mean, he gets he gets so many calls going his way. It's it's not even funny. See, I somehow stay in this game till then, though. So even though he did have the the uh, game on his side, the game wanted him to win, but I actually stuck in it. See, because how does he get this pass through? I have three people there: Joel Embiid and Kawhi Leonard. And he just takes it up easy, like nothing even happened. Wide open three, Kawhi Leonard, good release, wide open, and he misses it. And see, this pass right here tried to strip it, and then Kawhi Leonard strips Carmelo Anthony, but they called that a foul. The best defender in the league can't strip Carmelo Anthony. And see, he somehow gets, I block him, and he gets the rebound back, and then goes to the corner and knocks that down. So it's really frustrating. That's a loose ball that I should have gotten. He gets it back, and LeBron makes a tough layup. And he's shooting a much better percentage than I am. He's 6 for 14, while I'm 4 for 14. I, I just can't hit anything, but Tyrone Hill, that mid-range, I did not know he could actually shoot. I just kind of saw the look and had to take it. See, I had to make a three-pointer until then. That was my first three-pointer of the game. See, I got to get some more three-pointers. Joel Embiid has a really nice release from mid-range. I really like that Joel Embiid card. He's really good for me. See, Kawhi Leonard, he should not be able to score on Kawhi. And also, this dude was running LeBron James at point guard. Like, that, that just proves that you don't, you don't really play the game to be fair. You're just trying to win. And see, I miss a few good looks. There's another, but that's green, so that has to go in. So try and get the ball. Try and get a shot up. See, I have that wide open shot, and that goes in. Zach Levine actually didn't do that bad to be my worst player. He did not do that bad this game. To Anthony Davis, he just pulls up and banks it in from back there. I mean, I'm missing wide open shots with great three-point shooters, and he's banking in white deep threes. So I get this little spin jumper, I knock that in. Kawhi Leonard's mid-range game is nice in this game. So I get it to Tyron Hill, and I try to take another jump shot, and he decides to go in for the layup. That gets blocked. And then Courtney Lee... He misses that contested three. Kawhi Leonard taking it up, trying to dunk on him, but I get the layup to go instead. I'm down three. LeBron James is with a crossover, and somehow that's a foul. Zach Levine trying to get something going, but there's Joel B with another mid-range pop, and that's a miss, too. Now, I can't get anything going. Doesn't have to do it there's Joel B again, and I can't make simple layups, even if he doesn't jump. Like in yeah, real life, if Anthony Davis didn't jump right there, there's no way that that should have. And see, he gives this rebound right here and makes that layup without my guy jumping. So you see, it's just, you can kind of tell, like, their players are knowing what to do, and my players just don't want to actually do anything. See, there's a wide open shot, good release, and I missed that. See, we get the steal right here and a dunk with Kawhi. All right, we got Zach Levine right here going for the take, and he somehow makes that really contested layup. 
And then he gets the and one with LeBron dunking all over Joel Embiid. So I got Tyron Hill and Courtney Lee. And I save the ball and it goes straight back to him. And he gets another and one with Anthony Davis. And that's two and ones in a row. See, I go in for that tape. Zach Levine with a nice finish at the rim. LeBron going again. And that is a third and one in a row. He had three and ones to finish off the game. And wide open in the corner. Kawhi Leonard misses it. Joel Embiid with a rebound, but it gets stripped as he's passing it. At the apex of his pass, it gets stripped from him, and he gets that easy alley. At this point, I'm kind of giving up. I, I can tell that the other team is, is meant to win this game. So I take that in and somehow miss that shot. And there's no way Joel Embiid should have missed that. But he did anyway just because I'm not supposed to win this game. See, and that's a foul. They give him those kinds of fouls and I don't get anything. So that's not a foul and he gets every single loose ball possible. So I really was giving up on this game because of this. Joel Embiid does hit that mid-range. I only end up losing by a few. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to do. I played this game really well. I played great defense. He just, he hit his shots, and thankfully Kawhi hits that shot, but not any of them actually matter. So that's the end of this game. You can see the stats right here. I probably won't be doing any other videos with this draft right here. I'll redraft and have a video of that draft coming out. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And here's the stats. You can pause and look at them if you want. And I'm out. See ya.